Hey guys, so we're still busy learning more about series and uh, we are going to look at the geometric series now. Let's just remind ourselves once again why, why is it called the geometric series. Well, a series is when I sum up the terms of a sequence. So the geometric sequence is a sequence, for example, where I get every term, consecutive term, by multiplying with a certain number. In this case, we see that I get each term by multiplying with a 2. And how I can get that 2 is I can say 4 divided by 2. I take the term 2 divided by term 1. Term 3 divided by term 2. 8 divided by 4 gives me 2. And I can see it's constant already. So it gives me an indication that I have a constant ratio. So we were calling this our first term A, and that was called our constant ratio. Okay, now if we were to talk about the geometric series, we would be talking about adding up these terms. In other words, now instead we're going with 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16, etc. This time adding up the terms up to a certain number and remember we still use the same to indicate the sum of um, any sequence we use SN so we're going to look at how am I going to be able to find a formula to do this because obviously the sum to the first hundred terms is going to take me forever to do so so rather I'm going to see if you know, how can I sum them up okay. If you look at this, we know that the sum of Sn is, the, is adding up all of the terms of a certain sequence. We go all the way up to 2n minus 1, that's the second last term, and Tn is the last term. So Sn means we sum up the first n terms of um, a sequence. Now, uh, all we need to do is see, okay, but we know that the general term is found by, or each term is found by multiplying um, with the constant ratio of the minus. So T1 is my first term, T2 is my first term multiplied by my constant ratio once, T3 is my first term multiplied by my constant ratio twice. Okay, and this goes on in this pattern all the way up. So the, the n minus the, the second last term means I've multiplied with my constant ratio, and as you see, here I multiplied with r to the power of zero actually. Here I multiplied with r to the power of one. So each time one less than the term number. Okay, so in other words, if I'm at the n minus one nth number, whatever that I express that. It means I've multiplied with r one times less than that. In other words, instead of being negative 1, it's now negative 2. And for the final term, I've multiplied with n or with r one times less than the number of terms there are. And this means I had to sum up all of this. <coughs> now, there's various ways of solving this, uh, this but um, the next is probably the easiest way to see it. Let's take this equation and just multiply it with r. In other words, I'm going to multiply it with, uh, the whole thing with r. So which means every term must be multiplied with r, which means now a times r again gives me a r to the power of 1. a r to the power of 1 times r again gives me a r to the power of 2. So adding in. Okay? Plus, and the next term, a r to the power of 2 times r again, will give me, will give me a r to the power of 3. And this goes on plus all the way when I get here, I'm going to have, uh, if I'm multiplying with r again, instead of having r to the power n minus 1, I'll add another one. So I'll have a r n to the power, uh, r to the power n minus 1. Okay? Let me write that one further down. Plus a r in the power minus one plus 
and if I multiply the very last term, AR into pound negative, but if I multiply this one with another R, I'll just have AR to the power of N. That one gets added in minus one plus one gives you n. Okay, why did I do this? And why did I do this? Well, here you can actually um, get the idea. Is that, the, and that's the reason why I shifted them up a little bit. Is because now look, those two terms are the same. Those two terms are the same. Uh, this term is going to be a r to the power of three, so they are going to be the same. And this goes on. These two terms are the same, which means I can subtract them and get rid of all these in-between terms. So I'm going to say that means Sn minus Rsn, and as I take these two and I subtract them from each other, then I get, okay, first, this one didn't have something to subtract from. So I just have A to um, A, my first term. Okay, but those two subtract and cancel. These two subtract and cancel. The next one will subtract and cancel with this one. This one would have subtracted and cancelled with the one before. This last one of, of the green sequence subtracts with, the, with this uh, next one of the blue sequence. And then I just see, oh, this one doesn't have anything to subtract from. So let's make it zero minus that. just gives me negative a r to the power n. And that has significantly reduced the amount of terms that I have there. Okay, and now I simply need to solve for Sn. That's a, the one I look, I'm looking for, uh, looking for a formula for. Right? Okay, so here we go. We take Sn out as a common factor because it's in both those terms. I'm left here. If I take it out, I'm left with one, and the second term I'm left with is oh, sorry, not Sn. I'm left with R. And on the other side, I can check out A as a common factor. So I take out A, and I'm left with 1 minus R to the power of A. It's just for simplification. Really. So I want to solve this in, so I divide both sides with a 1 minus R. And I'm left on the right-hand side. And here comes my formula. A very important formula. S in is therefore equal to a to the power of 1, oh, times 1 minus r to the power n over 1 minus r. And there we go. That is a formula. So, if I had to do An example, the one we had before, 2 plus 3, oh, sorry, 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus, and this goes on, okay, and I have to calculate, they give me that and they tell me calculate uh, sum to 30. Oh, 30 is pretty big. Okay, let's go sum to, to 15. The sum of the first 15 terms of this geometric sequence. No, 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 okay. Well, it's a times 1 minus r to the power n divided by 1 minus r. I've already earlier calculated my first term is 2. A constant ratio is 2 as well. So 1 minus 2 to the power n is 15 terms divided by 1 minus 2. And using the calculator, which is probably wise, we get an answer of 65,534. Here we go. And that's the answer and one type of question. Now you go and try. I'm sure you're going to get it quite easy.